Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Jane Wood and today I'm going to be talking about BLM. The Bureau of Land Management was established in 1946 and Colorado hosts more than 8.3 million acres of public lands. These lands are open for everyone to enjoy, including Crested Butte over yonder, where many farmers graze their cattle throughout the summers. Funny story. This summer up in Crested Butte, I was camping on some BLM and almost got trampled by a cow in the middle of the night, but thankfully I lived to tell the tale. Many of you are very familiar with Hartman Rocks, especially because the majority, not the majority, but a lot of students at Western tend to dirtbag there during the summers. Well, common misconception is that you can stay on BLM for as long as you want throughout the summers. However, there are limitations and, re and restrictions for how long you can camp in one area. For example, at Hartman's, you have to move areas every three weeks, but many other areas you have to move every two weeks. Someone's living here. Yeah, because I can. So many of you know Hartman Rocks. Hartman Rocks is very well known for the protection and preservation of the Gunnison sage grouse. Many species are protected and preserved on BLM lands. However, hunting is allowed in lots and lots of BLM lands. Furthermore, BLM is open to many types of recreation. For example, in the BLM behind our beloved campus, there's a frisbee golf course seen up the hill right yonder. And behind us, we have this awesome pump track, which lets the mountain bike team practice very conveniently. As well as a, frisley, a frisbee golf course, which is super fun. You can find lots and lots of free frisbees here. All around us, we can see many, many, many native plant species to the Gunnison area. For example, all the sage. Couldn't tell you what what the actual Latin names are for any of it. But sage, other grasses, and shrubs are preserved on BLM. However, the trails have a detrimental effect to some of the species. Although BLM preserves and protects many species and many ge geologic features, uh, habitat invasion is very prevalent, especially because there's little to no restriction about what you can do on BLM. For example, noise brought about by dirt bikes or ATVs at Hartman's has an effect on the sage grouse who populate the area, as well as trail erosion and other erosion from cars, mountain bikes, and walking. What is that? A rare sage grouse. Gotta piss off the animals. <laughs>